Hello, vlog family. I'm not gonna move the camera because I already have it set up where I want it. But Kristen and I'm over at Kristen's Nana's house with her new puppy, Jenna, because we're gonna do a little puppy photo shoot. It's a Jenna. Say hello, Jenna. Are you the new star? Uh, yes. Say, of course I am. One. <laughs> Maybe the other side since the wind is angling that way. <laughs> Ooh, that, wow, you went real pale for a second. <laughs> Kristen had little adorable signs for it's a puppy and it's a Jenna. You can't really, it says J. It's a Jenna. So we're basically trying to get as many different random photos as we can for like a little puppy reveal. I'm getting puppy snuggles. Oh, thank you. All right, now we're on our way. We got Nana photos, or backyard, Nana's backyard photos. Photos in Nana's backyard? Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <laughs> and now we're on our way to other locations because we're professionals and we don't yes. settle for one location. No. Always Jenna's just more. being a trooper, coming along for the ride. Little poop. Because, 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 because. Uh, of all the wonderful things he does. Yeah, because of the wonderful things he does. Because of the wonderful things he does. <laughs> Jenna's just like, oh gosh, okay, let's go. <laughs> puppy, 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 puppy. Jenna, how does it feel to be a puppy? Yeah, no kidding. Do you plan on being a puppy for long? Uh, maybe just a little while. I have plans, you know. <laughs> big, big, big dog plans. Would you like the puppy back? Yeah. <laughs> Photo shoot with Kristen. Please, before something strange happens. There you go. Then I was like, yeah, put me down. <laughs> okay. One of the great things about this neighborhood that Kristen's grandma lives in is they have so many nice, like, flowers and decorations. So we've just been going into all sorts of people's yards taking pictures. <laughs> so far, we've not gotten yelled at, so it's good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, she is. Should I Simba her again? Is this a good Simba spot? This is a good Simba spot. This way or this way? Uh, try that way. Mars, <laughs> Benya, Baba, Rita, Baba, Rita, Ku, Jenna. Yeah, now you can get some really cool photos here. And a geese. And a geese. Jenna, you want a photo shoot with the geese? On the goose. What about a gander? Ooh. <laughs> no, she can't meet boys yet. She's too little. I'm too young. Oh my gosh, look at that, baby. Oh my gosh, it's like a little preschool class. Oh my gosh, I love you. I'm the preschool teacher. Buddy system. Oh god, the one's lost. Next to its teacher. Oh, that's the, that's the uh, suck-up student. The teacher's uh, pet. Mm. Literally, the pet. It's a pet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, look at them all. Oh, God, they're all getting something to drink. That's the dirtiest drinking hole I've ever seen. <laughs> Go to the clean side, y'all. You're gonna get salmonella. They're like, no, this is great. <laughs> you weenie. <laughs> Jenna, are you enjoying your adventure? Oh, no thanks. Why won't you look at me? <laughs> Hi! Oh, that was my nose hole. <laughs> my actual nostril. Hello! Mwah. 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 Your baby breath, oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, Jenna. Are you ready? No? Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> Your first slide. How's that? You <laughs> She's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> She's like, what? Oh, God. Hello, turtles. There's so many of you. Are you doing a show for us? There should be seven. <laughs> I see two. Those are really massive. Oh, there's three. There's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Oh gosh, yeah. They must have reproduced. Eh. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple. We got these that are just chilling right up close. You think I have a snack for you? I do not. No snackers. <laughs> it's just so so strangely placed. Like, oh, there's even, like why are you here? Drops. I thought there were like shells at the bottom of it, and I was like, oh, we're at the beach. People really wanted it to feel beachy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a balloon. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work with the basket here. It's cute. You should put the basket with Jenna on one end and you be like on the far other end and be like, oh, there's a puppy there. <coughs> <laughs> Jenna! Jenna! Hi! Jenna, Jenna, Jenna! Jenna, Jenna, Jenna! She's like, no, no, I'm coming, guys. It's okay. Wait for me. Bye. <laughs> Good job. Oh, scared it away. There's the mom and the baby ducks again. There's some other chilling ducks. Chilling like a villain. Can you make it in the water? Can you do it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're little speedboats! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> I didn't know baby ducks could move that fast! Oh my gosh! They're straight motorboats. <laughs> There's like literally a trail of bubbles after them. <laughs> oh my goodness! That was hilarious. Hello everybody! We are on our way to go for a little walk to look at the new uh, fish store that just opened up nearby us. And we thought that would be a good way of doing some exercise. Kristen got all of the clips edited and, or all of the photos edited and cropped and everything from the little photo shoot yesterday. So I will leave a link to her Instagram in the description below. Um, and also she, got that poodle because she breeds poodles and so I will also put a link to her Facebook page in the description as well so you can go check that out oh but I also I got a new bag um, the purse that I was carrying around I liked but I wanted to give a try to doing kind of like thank you to, <laughs> to doing the dance holding the phone the like the book bag type purse so I went ahead and I picked this up from Walmart so I'm gonna give it a go. I like it so far. I like the design. The flat, whole flower design is kind of starting to grow on me a bit more. So I'll see how it goes. But so far I like it. It's comfy and I like not having to worry about it falling off of my shoulders, which is also good because I tend to have that happen where if I have the purse with the strap, it'll just fall off my shoulders. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. <laughs> Make a great phone stand. Mm. Fish were all the ones that were on my speed. Sumo roach. Which 
I'll have to, when we get a few t a few minutes of time, I'll have to tell them the story of our Lord of the Rings tank that was fan fiction gone wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I looked down and this guy's just like sitting in the tank looking at me. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Look at the dog face puffer. He's got a dog face. <laughs> Well, Talk uh... about catfish. This is legit dog fish. <laughs> no, you're good. Wait okay. a minute. It was raining when we came out of the store. So we pulled out our umbrella and walked about half of the uh, parking lot with the umbrella. And then we're like, this is pointless. So we just put the umbrella away and had a nice walk in the rain the whole way home. So now, as you can see, we are thoroughly soaked. <laughs> so we're putting together some leftovers for dinner tonight and then we're going to watch Moneyball, uh, which fun story about that movie. Dan and I actually went and saw it in theaters together when it first came out and this was before we were even dating or anything. On the way home, a bat hit the windshield. Well, I, I think it was a bat. We don't really know for sure what it was. Pretty sure it was a bat. Mm. And then we go to his house because I had parked, hello, I had, I had parked at his house and so we, he pulls into the driveway and stops because we lived out in the country and he stops when he pulls into the driveway because there's a skunk in the driveway and he's like, oh no, and I'm like, oh, it's a skunk, don't make it matter, it'll spray us and he goes, oh yeah, that's a good idea, drive after it. So, <laughs> in the middle of the lawn. In the middle of the lawn, mind you. Like, the skunk saw the car and began scampering onto the lawn and into the open garage. And Dan thought it would be a great idea to follow it in the car between bushes and into the garage. And I'm sitting there like, what is this crazy man doing? <laughs> so he drives right into the garage and like run like jumps out of the car and runs after this skunk and I'm just sitting in the car after he runs out of the the garage after the skunk and I'm just sitting there like what just happened and I sat I sat there legitimately probably a full minute because I just I I couldn't process what had just happened and the fact that you almost took bushes out of your lawn as you were driving after this skunk. I got tired of mowing around them anyway. That's what I think of when I think of Moneyball. Ever since we got married, we've been wanting to watch it again and we haven't found it anywhere. So Dan went ahead and bought it online. And so now we have it and we're going to watch it. All right, I'm making some popcorn now so we can enjoy that with the movie. But... I wanted to also tell you the story that I had talked about when we were looking at all of the fish at C-Max. And so basically, when we first moved to Charlotte, I had a fish tank. And after we moved here, I had it for probably two years. I had it for the year that we were at our first apartment building, and then a year once we moved to this apartment. And while we were still at our old apartment, I had it all set up and I loved decorating it and redecorating it and everything and just having fun with that. And I decided one day that for whatever reason I wanted to name all of my fish after Lord of the Rings characters. So I went ahead and all of the fish that I already had I assigned names to and then I went and I bought more guppies. No, no, I bought one guppy and that was Bilbo and then I bought neon tetras and those were all of the dwarves. Then I bought other fish to fill the places of I think I had a little black fish that was the necromancer. I had a blue, a big like powder blue fish that was Gandalf. And I got a beta that was Smog. And all of the fish that were in with the beta were all, they were all compatible with each other because I know betas aren't supposed to be with a ton of other fish, but these all, everybody got along. I made sure that everything was good. So don't freak out at me, but I had a bright red beta fish that I named Smog. So I had all of these fish together and they were all living happily and I would watch the tank and it would be so much fun to watch and I would see all of the neon tetras and the little guppy all like cluster together and stay together as they swam around the tank so of course I was like oh yeah it's the dwarves and Bilbo haha <laughs> so funny and then 
they would like swim over to where the beta was staying and the beta would pop up and they would all swim away and I was like oh that's so funny they're trying to go after smog ha 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 and Dan and I joked that it was like a funny fan fiction like our tank was acting out a fan fiction that somebody had written for like the Lord of the Rings and one day I came home and some of the dwarfs were dead. Some of the fish that I had named after the dwarves were dead. And I was like, oh no, what happened? I was like, did they get too close to the beta? The beta went after them. And like the more, and so I got them out, got the water regulated and everything again. And then as the days went on, I realized all of them were starting, like all of the fish, the, like the necromancer fish, basically everybody except for the Gandalf and the smog were starting to die. And I was like, what is happening? And then one day I caught what was happening and I realized smog was an innocent bystander in this whole thing. And it was Gandalf that was murdering everybody. And so after I got everybody else out of the tank, Gandalf and Smog left each other alone, and so those two were okay, but Gandalf was just being a jerk. So I ended up getting an angelfish, and which are semi-aggressive, but I put him in the tank and named him Legolas. And he put Gandalf in his place, and the three of them lived pretty okay. And I was like, this is some ridiculous fan fiction. And, and it was it was very funny. And then when we moved here, we had the three of them still. And I ended up putting a divider in the tank so Smog could have his own space because he was chill. And then Legolas got to be full size and Gandalf finally died after, like, it was close to the end of the two years. But, yeah, that's the story of my fish tank turned horrible fan fiction. Hello everybody, it's Saturday now. Dan and I are just now leaving the house. We'd only both just gotten home from work about 30 minutes ago. But we are now on our way to Carowinds to go to a concert that, funnily enough, we were invited to by uh, my coworker Misty and her husband Brian because he was listening to the radio and won four concert tickets and got a hold of us and was like, hey, we want to pass two of these on to you. So that is where we are headed now, which is super fun. But when we get there, I'll get a better idea of exactly all who's who will be there. I think... Um, did they say Toby Mac was gonna be there? Maybe. Maybe. I don't Maybe know. We'll find out once we get there, yeah. But that is where we are headed in a hurry because neither one of us got home until after four and the concert starts at five. So. <laughs> Alright, we finally made it! Yes! And here's Misty and Brian! Woo! Oh, that was my so eardrum. Happy to be here. My actual Sorry. eardrum. Yeah. <laughs> Your actual one. Not the fake one. Not the, the fake one, the one. real eardrum. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> excited to be here. Who's excited to be here right now? Let me hear you. Make it. Because I know you got me. I know you got me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a yeah, Christian financial planner. It's we pretty good. Here. We'd ask you to stop. That's just the yes word. Yeah, yeah, he'd much rather be working Throughout right the now. Years, Talking to more great Christian. I hear the sound of your voice. All it wants is a gentle and thundering noise. Oh, 
Pavilion sweaty tonight. You messed up. If you don't leave your horse, y'all, you messed up. If you want to steal my show, sit back and watch you go. If you have something to say, go on. I want you to bounce back and forth like this. Come on. You ain't quit yet on me, are you? You ain't quit yet on me. Come on. Work it, work it. We go whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy, but we gonna catch that. Whoopsie daisy, call me crazy, whoopsie daisy, I'm slacking off like a bird. for this week we are back home it is quarter to midnight I'm going to finish editing this vlog to get it up for tomorrow and we are both going to sleep <laughs> so I hope you had a wonderful week I hope you have a wonderful week coming up uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already because I put out new weekly vlogs every single Sunday at noon so I hope to see you next week and bye <laughs>